Mr. President, I'm delighted the Senate was able to reach an agreement on a bill to provide health care for the men and women who helped in the rescue, recovery, and cleanup efforts after the 9-11 attacks. In the years since then, as we all know, the number of these brave Americans, a number of these brave Americans have become ill. Today represents an important step in making sure they receive the care they need as a result of their extraordinary service. No one has ever questioned whether to provide the care they need. The only question was how to do so. Like many of my colleagues, I've been concerned that attempts to rush this legislation at the end of the session would prevent us from ensuring that the bill was written in a responsible fashion. And I still believe this cause and this legislation would have benefited from a bipartisan committee process. But thanks to the hard work of a number of senators, most notably Senators Coburn and Enzi and their staffs, we've come a long way in improving this bill. We've made sure that more compensation will go to victims than trial lawyers. It got improved, it's got improved oversight, so money isn't siphoned away from the people who really need it. We put time limits on the legislation so Congress can come back and review what's worked and where improvements can be made. So this is a much better product. Some have tried to portray this debate as a debate between those who support 9-11 workers and those who don't. This is a gross distortion of the facts. There was never any doubt about supporting the first responders. It was about doing it right. Mr. President, I yield the floor. Senator from Illinois. Mr. President, it's my understanding the Senator from Hawaii has to make a quick departure, and uh, I would uh, like to ask that he be recognized, but first make unanimous consent. The Senate proceeded to meet a consideration of 4058 introduced earlier today. Without objection. Clerk will report. As 4058, a bill to extend certain expiring provisions providing enhanced protections for service members relating to mortgages and mortgage foreclosure.